Hey guys, it's just me again, Charlie. I'm just going to let you guys know right off the bat that I'm feeling very well. I'm not 100%, but I do feel very well. So, um, I'm sorry I haven't been on here for a little bit, but I don't even know how long it's been. But I just figured I'd do a little video and let everybody know I'm feeling much better. Still have like major sinus issues, but um, I did get the flu shot after my cold was. The doctor said my cold was pretty much done. So, and he was just saying that it was pretty much just like allergies, but I never had allergies in my life. But he's the doctor, so he knows what he's doing, and that's why they gave me the shot. So, I. I don't know, uh, I'm not even going to go into the flu shot, so, can kick that in the butt right now, I mean, but, I don't understand it and stuff, but, oh my god, you guys, it's so cold up here in Maine, oh, I put my heat on and everything like that, it's been, like, really cold, it's been, like, in the 20s and shit like that, and I, ugh. I hate putting the heat on, and I told you guys I have one of those heater things on the wall. I don't even know what they're called yet, but I'd call them a space heater, but they're attached, and they have a big box outside the window and shit, but hey, it works. I do have baseboard heat, though, I mean, in case that doesn't work, so, but any hoot, um... Yeah, look at me. I'm in a friggin' sweater. And I have a t-shirt on underneath. But it's so friggin' cold. <laughs> but that's why I live in Maine. I like the change of the seasons. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know why I live here. But I do love the state. It's a beautiful state. And it's not so heavily populated. So I think that's why I enjoy it. I mean, I don't have traffic or anything like that, unless if I go into the city or something like that. But, but even that's not as bad as Boston. I'm telling you, I <clears throat> I live there, and oh my god, it's like give me a break. You know what I mean? But, anyways, sorry, I had to have a sip. But anywho, um. Yeah, this month, I think it's going to be positive. Um, I'm really hoping and praying I can go back to Mass and see my sister and my brother that are in Mass. And you guys know my sister Tina lives in Florida, so that's out of the question. I ain't flying. Not after yesterday. Or what was it? No, it was the day before yesterday. Had that thing blow up on the friggin' runway. Oh my goodness. I feel so terrible. I mean, for those people that had to deal with that. I mean, that was crazy. I mean, and it's an airline that I'd never even heard of, but. Uh, you know. I used to live in Fort Lauderdale, so I know that airport and everything like that, so it's like, ugh. That's when I was younger, like in my 20s. <laughs> now in my late 40s, I'm not going to tell you guys, but you guys probably already know because I tell you all the time. But All right, I'm 48. 48, and I'm not going to complain. I don't even know what I'm saying. But <laughs> me and my sister Trisha were talking about it today. That's why I'm being goofy about it, but... And if you guys know me and watch my channel, you'll understand. I mean, it's funny. Oh, but, oh my God, you guys, it was funny. I was on the phone with her this morning, and she has my nephew, Nicholas, who's like the football player I told you guys about. And then my oldest nephew, uh, Wayne, he wants to be, he's going to be the doctor 
and then I have Victoria, who's still in, you know, grade school, pretty much. She's a freshman, I think, in high school. No, she is a freshman in high school. So, my poor sister, I mean, she's used to having all these kids in her house. So now she's getting rid of two. So it's just going to be her and her husband and, <laughs> and Victoria. Trisha's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be crazy. Maybe I'll be getting a divorce. I'm like, Trisha, you will not get a divorce. She goes, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is just crazy. All my boys are gone, and now I have a, my daughter, and blah, 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 blah. You know how people get going. I would be that way if I had a kid. <laughs> it's too funny, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Well, anyways, it was a great conversation. I mean, I didn't speak with her for a while. I mean, I, I, uh, it was probably like three weeks, which is too long for us. I mean, we usually talk to each other at least once a week. And you guys know I talk to Tina, my sister Tina, every day. And my brother Jimmy, I usually talk to every two weeks. And my half-brother and sister, I don't really talk to. So, I mean, that's that. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. But, you know, different mothers, different fathers. So, yeah. Got to do what you got to do. Like I said, I'm 48 years old, and that's how it was back then. You know, nobody's halves, though, with me. I mean, everybody's my family. I mean, you can't compare, you know, everybody has the same genes. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, my mother has my grandmother's dream. Well, yeah, my grandmother's genes. And my father had my grandfather's genes, so put them together. And then if my brother Paul... And my father had, I mean, Paul's being from a different father. I mean, sorry, <laughs> a different mother. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. That's so queer. I didn't mean to say queer. But, you know, it's just opposites. But if you think about steps, they're always the same. Like, I have a mother, and then I have a father. The next person that has, you know, the illegitimate child, as everybody thinks it is, which it isn't, it's a half. But, and that person has a different mother, but yet the father is still carried on with the other person. I don't even know if I'm making sense, and this is crazy, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm going to make my myself look like a fool and have all these hate comments and... What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a flying, you know what, fluck and duck. That's what I call it, flunk and duck. Why not, right? I mean, I can do that shit. It's my channel. And if you guys don't want to watch it, I'm sorry. But I do really enjoy talking to everybody because I get a lot of PMs and a lot of people on my Facebook and stuff like that it means a lot to me because like at least I know I'm not the only person out here that like looks at life the way I do you know and everybody that comments really you know it's everyday life I mean we all sleep we all shit we all eat you know Who's different, really? Unless you're going to be judgmental, and that's not right. But that's how I feel. But, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm almost 10 minutes. Hmm, that's surprising for me. But, anyways, oh, and I forgot to tell everybody. I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but I would, I'm probably just going to repeat myself. I went, um,. And help my friend Stephen um, decorate. Um, we have a local bar that we decorate every year and stuff like that for Halloween and shit. And it's for adults. It's not for ch 
children. Um, and, oh my God, you guys, it was so much fun today. We were, like, sitting there because he's, like, the owner of the bar and stuff. So we were decorating and shit like that. And uh, believe it or not, I had, like, three bears. I was, like, tipsy. But I'm pretty much not tipsy. Well, maybe I'm a little tipsy, but not too tipsy. But, I mean, I had, like, four bears or three bears. No, I think it was three bears. And, oh, my God, you guys, I felt, like, so wired. Oh, my goodness. But we got it all decorated. It was fun. The only thing I hated doing was, like, those, uh, what do you call it, spider webs things. Oh, my God, I had to keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until it got freaking to where we needed it. And that sucks so bad. I was just like, OMG, when is it going to end? But, no, we had a great day. So, and then we went out for dinner, and then I came home, and that's where I am right now. So, all right, guys, I am so sorry that this is over 11 minutes long. And um, I really thank you guys for watching my videos. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, be a subscriber to the main cooking and vlog channel. That's what I have to say. And God bless everybody and peace be with you. And hope everybody has a great weekend. Because, hello, it's Halloween. Alright, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.